Hello and welcome. I will explain you in this tutorial how to implement Datalogica free CGI shopping cart system into Rapid Weaver. There are some uh, things you need to know. First, I will show you my site setup. So uh, I zoom in a little, set up, and just take a look here. I've uh, checked enable craftless links. Okay, so you know what I've done. Um, excuse me for my uh, incorrect English uh, language and uh, grammar. I cannot do better, but I think you will understand me uh, when I explain this uh, video and how to implement the, sh the shopping cart. Uh, I've, I've set up a simple website uh, in Rapid Weaver with some links, as you can see here. Uh, development, info, and the home page, and some other pages. Let's take first a look at the left side, um, and this shop here. That's nothing more than, I'll go down below, the plus sign, and insert the an HTML code page. Okay, so insert this and then you need to edit it. Let's take a look here. Edit. And what you need to type is main space content with the brackets. That's all you need to, uh, to do. And in the preview you will see this. It's not a link. That's why I will zoom out and go to the right side where I have opened the page inspector. Let's take a look here. Um, it's called shop, but as you can see, show in menu is not checked. So be sure that it is unchecked. Furthermore, in the folder, it's called here, slash shop. You can do it the same. And the file name is called template.html. Now, on the general tab, this is on the general tab. When I go to the sidebar, I just show you what uh, what uh, it's on my uh, um, my layout and what I have done. Uh, now look at styles. What's important is that the sidebar is hide. So hide the sidebar, and here you will see that page apply theme. So that's okay. You can leave it that way. Styles. Hide sidebar and general, be sure, show in menu is not checked. You can call it template.html. Look also at the path. Um, <clears throat> this is quite easy to do, I think. Now let's uh, take a look at uh, the left side again. And you will see that I have um, two external pages. Um, which is called um, in, in Rapid Weaver an offsite page. Okay, I will go down below and add the plus, and as you can see, an offsite page, you need to add two of these offsite pages. The first one is called Shop. Do not get confused with this shop down below, but it's called shop with um, um, with the offsite page. Okay, so shop. Here you can see it's a link, and the same is the view card. In fact, these are the same pages. On the left side, you see view card. Now let's say um, let's see here. The general tab in the page inspector show in menu is checked so be sure that it is checked the folder is unimportant so you can leave it as offside and everything as shown here the sidebar nothing header didn't, didn't do anything so i did not change anything but at styles it's important again to hide the sidebar and 
at page be sure here to fill in the slash cgi hyphen bin slash card dot cgi this is the URL to your shopping cart and a general it must be show a menu because you want that your customers can see on your website uh, a link that they can go immediately to shop and also of course immediately view cart the view cart let's see here on the left side I go to view cart now let's take a look at the right side what I have done is show a menu because you want that your customers see the, the card uh, and view their card I've called it view card the folder is not uh, important here is the page title view card and show in menu okay the sidebar nothing the header identical as before and styles again sidebar hide so hide the sidebar also in view card the page is a little bit longer but it's almost the same as you can see uh, the card was only this but now you want an action so fill in the question mark action is view card we'll go now at, uh, to the right and you will see question mark action is view underscore card that's it don't forget styles hide the sidebar and at general be sure it is showed in menu the folder unimportant that is only that's only what you need to know to implement the powerful uh, shopping cart system from Data Logica, which is totally free. Um, uh, also for Sandfox users. Uh, now let's take a look at uh, the website. I open Safari and uh, just take a look here. This is the shop where I'm now, and if I click on View Cart, it's empty. I can click on continue shopping and because I've changed an, um, an action in, in, in cartconfig.pl which I will show you later I have immediately all my products which people can see um, when I add to cart in the free version you cannot change the background of this table here um, it is uh, always gray However, in the paid version, you can uh, edit emails and edit everything um, very easily. I remove this, and when I click on continue shopping, you will see that it is showing all products. And when I click on shop, you will see that I can search by category here, um, or I search with words or a phrase, a keyword. I will. Uh, that's Safari. Uh, let's take a look now at the card config file, the PL, card config.pl file. Um, there is a README. Uh, I suggest to, uh, to read it uh, carefully. It's uh, not too difficult, but things are explained there. Well, here is, it says full URL is recommended, as you can see. Well, I've put here, oh, sorry. I've put here um, my uh, full URL, so this is good. However, some um, uh, some servers, web servers or web host, they need that you put the full URL here too. I will copy and paste it. As you can see, now it is a full URL. Undo. Okay. Um, down below at the continue continue shopping URL. You can see that I've put the, here the question mark uh, and the action is search and the category is all plus products. So that's I'm telling now that uh, to search in all products when they click on continue shopping. The photos is where your photos go, your, your product photos in the HTML 
is generated by the system. So all your um, products has an HTML um, page. And these are in fact all this part from line 33 here. Let's take a look closer to 49 uh, are URLs. Down below you will see that um, path. Well, a path often begins for a Windows server on C, as you can see here, but on uh, Unix servers you will mostly see user or www or htdocs. In my case, on my server, you can see it's public and then uh, sites, as you can see here, that it is uh, in my case a uh, subdomain and here goes my CGI, B, CGI uh, bin and the car data. Um, uh, I will go down here. The template file, that's what I told before the, the um, shop, which is the HTML code here in Rapid Weaver. That's this file. And it's in the folder shop, put the template HTML. And here you can see also a path where my photos go and the HTML where my product uh, HTML pages uh, will go. And this is a URL at line 49. But this is a path. In the zip file that you can download uh, the shopping cart, which is free, as I told before, uh, you will see path.cgi. Open this, upload it to your server, and um, you will find the path from your server, and uh, it's easy to fill in those lines. Okay, this I will close. In fact, this is everything you need to know. Um, to have a powerful and very nice shopping cart system which accepts PayPal, check, uh, credit card, um, world pay and uh, also money transfer if you like and um, you're, you, you keep your customers up to date online with, um, um, with your online administration and uh, I think that uh, that is uh, nice that uh, it's now implemented too for Rapid Weaver as it, as it uh, has been also for Sandfox. And uh, at this stage, I hope that you uh, like um, the, the, the things that I have said and that you understand it. Uh, don't forget that if you want to have uh, the, you, you have some questions, please uh, go to the forum at. Uh, Data, lo data logica that is data logica in English dot nl slash forum slash and then uh, you can ask questions there and probably uh, uh, if you like it maybe you uh, consider in uh, purchase the software but it's not necessary it's totally free well bye for now and uh, maybe till next time <laughs>